What's going on, Phoenicians? I, uh, I'm here with another commentary video where I just talk about stuff. And today's a national holiday, and uh, not much business is going to be getting done in my office, but it's like, still gotta come here and take care of some legal stuff, or shoot emails, or whatever. But now it's lunchtime, so uh, I'm gonna go walk to lunch. I don't know what I'm gonna eat yet, but I'm gonna walk and talk as I eat. It's a bit windy today. On Twitter yesterday, I asked if you guys uh, wanted me to answer a question specific to uh, my, my YouTube channel or anything. And, you know, really, I just asked for anything to talk about because, I, you know, I haven't filmed much at all this week. So uh, on Twitter, Tatsuji Yoshimura asked me to discuss what I use for music and uh, how, do I uh, how do I utilize them in my vlogs. And he also wanted me to, using your party expertise, how about planning study meetings on video editing, vlog ethics, demonetization, etc. So, two completely different things that he wanted me to touch on. I'm not sure what to eat. I kind of want a hamburger steak, but I also uh, want to eat a little bit healthier than that. Eh, screw it, going to Jonathan's, which is that way. So the music I use is mostly by two artists, uh, Hiko Simon and Tai Nakamura. If you don't know either of them, they're part of a uh, group called the Tokyo Digital Crew. And uh, that's, there's a bunch of other YouTubers that um, are part of that, are YouTubers, online people. You know, people in my community in general, it's just, they, um, they upload a lot of music. A lot of it's really electronic based. And uh, it sounds really good, so, you know, it's, and they always say you could use it for free. Put it into vlogs or whatever. Holy God, it's windy. Whenever I use their music, I always have their, uh, the links to their SoundCloud in the, in the description, but it's gonna be the top link in the description for uh, Tokyo Digital Crew. And uh, they are really nice people. And you, you know, especially like Tai or Hiko, you can always shoot them a message. And if you have a, a pitch you wanna give them for a song idea or something like, for example, the uh, Kutsudogi Beer, which is also known as the uh, Phoenix 787 theme song. I asked that to uh, Hiko, I asked him to make that for my Thirsty Thursday video series. There's actually two songs that Tai Nakamura has made for me specifically. And he's also uh, currently working on a third one for Hanami. So yeah, it's um, very uh, nice people that I work with when it comes to music. Now when it comes to how I utilize it, it, it always depends on the scene. And that's, you know, honestly music and background music and stuff is always one of the toughest parts of my vlogs. When I'm editing it, I'm like, crap, I don't know what scene to put here, especially if it's like, oh, I'm going somewhere or I'm traveling somewhere, but it's like, not, you know, like, there's, you know, there's a beach theme song that I use at the beach, and there's a, uh, it's called uh, Tokyo Night, so I forget the name of it, but it's, it's the one you hear a lot of, and it's very, uh, kind of upbeat, kind of uh, urban sounding song. And then there's a song that was actually made, uh, it was dedicated to uh, Sophie Shivers, right? I use that one a lot because it's a very Japanese, yet bassy, urban sounding song, and uh, I love using that one because the you know the bass drums on that one pop out quite a lot. So in my travel vlogs, I use a lot of Hiko's music. There was one I think it's called uh, I don't know. It's it's named after some place in Thailand. I can't pronounce it, but I love using that one for when I'm traveling because it it has that sort of traveling feel because Hiko wrote that when he was traveling. So. It makes sense, so a good, a good portion of my travel vlogs use that music. When I'm at like a shrine or a temple, there's a, a, a tune that Tai Nakamura made that uh, it's called, it's just simply called Rising Sun, and as you can expect, it's a very traditional Japanese sounding song, so I use that one a lot. And it's uh, really good for uh, traditional sounding things, or if I'm like at a hanami, where it's not a, you know, not a drunk hanami, it's not like a actual like hanami where I'm filming traditional stuff. I'll use that. Ty is always grateful when I use his music and I'm sure if you guys uh, use his music as well in your vlogs you'll uh, make Ty very happy. Just make sure you credit him and credit anybody's music that you use in the description and if possible you know leave a SoundCloud link as well because you know maybe someone wants to listen to it and uh, they could discover their uh, new favorite artist right so that's what I recommend you guys doing for that, but uh, yeah, I mean, that's the gist of what I use for music. I mean, sometimes I use other things, but like 99% of the music in my vlog is from Ty or Hiko Simon, so that, I hope that answers that question. The 
the next question I think uh, Tatsuji Sun wanted me to answer was regarding um, workshops or something. I'm guessing it's about workshops or like using my knowledge of parties. I wouldn't call myself a party expert, but I do like planning stuff. I've made a couple videos discussing ethical things on YouTube, especially like recently with uh, the Logan Paul drama, but it's like, I'm not an expert on that sort of thing. I don't know how well I'd be able to uh, discuss such a topic because of, uh, no, there's a lot more to YouTube than just uploading a video, even just the whole filming aspect of it. Especially if you're a larger creator, you have to take into account a lot of different things, especially if the video is sponsored. <laughs> Ice tea. Now he mentioned planning study meetings on uh, video editing, vlog ethics, demonetization. A lot of that stuff the YouTube space actually hosts. They have these, uh, they're called creator days, but the only problem with those are um, you have to have over a thousand subs to be able to do that. Now this would be something that ideally would be really good to do on the Hanami, April 7th, Yoyogi Park. <laughs> but people don't go to Hanami for learning about how to make YouTube videos. They, they go to Hanami to meet other creators. That's something that I would probably want to organize with a bunch of other YouTubers instead of just myself. Especially for the benefit of smaller creators, and there's a lot of smaller creators here. The toughest thing about that is just organizing it and getting a bunch of different people involved. I don't know if I have the time for that at this point, especially with um, my company, how busy I've been getting recently. But at the same time, it's like, it's definitely something I want to do, and maybe I can make a few videos discussing it, but like I said, I'm not, you know, I'm not the best person to ask about that. I have almost 1,800 subscribers, and I haven't gotten in trouble by YouTube before, but, you know, I, I do have videos getting demonetized randomly. Somebody just ordered food. <laughs> last time I had a video demonetized was actually last week's video, and I know if you say the F word, you're going to get demonetized. And then you have to have it get re re reviewed. So from now on, I'm going to try to edit out the F word as much as I can. But you know, sometimes I miss that, you know, 20 minute vlog. But I, d I get this already from Team YouTube. Last time I had a video demonetized. And they were like, uh, just click request review. And a lot of, you know, that, it used to say that error. It says, you only can view this video once you have like over a certain amount of views on it. But they review it pretty quickly if you tweet at them and leave a link and request review. I'm guessing Team YouTube has. You know, their, their dashboard or whatever has something that shows this video was demonetized and they requested a review. So, God, people are hungry today. I guess and if you request a review for your video and you tweet at Team YouTube, they're going to get it done quicker. Which will save you, well, ra rather, you'll get more money out of your video because of uh, peak timing. If you have under 10,000 subs, you have to have, that video will only get reviewed if it's public, which sucks. I know that it sucks, but just after you get the video removed, uh, review and monetization back, sorry. Um, that's what I want you guys, that's what I recommend you guys to promote the hell out of the videos because then people will see it more and you'll get more of that ad revenue. People complain about like, oh, you, you're you not getting that much money. That money helps. That money helps out a lot. I've gotten like $400 out of YouTube already. I shouldn't say already because that's pretty pathetic for being on the platform for three and a half years. <laughs> but I've gotten, you know, I've gotten a good amount of money from YouTube and it's helped out. Like. It paid for equipment like this camera or microphone or whatever, right? It, it helps out a lot. And it'll, it's a good platform to make extra money from. People need to stop ordering food at a restaurant. I should probably stop talking. <laughs> if you guys want me or other YouTubers in this area to host events like this, or if you have any ideas on how those could be run, let me know. I mean, I've, I've gone to a few events put on by other YouTubers that, well, you know, they weren't sponsored by YouTubers. Like, there was this, um, there's this group that had monthly events and did like monthly challenges and stuff for the whole purpose of learning how to edit better, but they disbanded after like three months because of some really petty reason. It had nothing to do with me, but it was like, I know exactly what you guys are thinking, but it's like, it's a lot of work getting a bunch of people organized. And I, you know, the thing I love about the Hanami is, it's like, it's a Hanami. You show up, you bring your alcohol, you bring your camera, you get drunk. <laughs> It really, it's nothing to it, really. So I say that, you know, knowing full well, I'm waking up at like 6 a.m. just to get to the park at 7 a.m. and having to buy like a huge freaking tarp like I did last year. Oh god, Hanami preparation, it's fun. But no, seriously, if, I mean, I'm pretty sure I could find a venue to 
host an event like this, like a networking event like this, but to get a creator day underway, I would have to have a lot more subs than I do now. I'm hoping Hika can host another one because when Hika Simon did host those a couple years ago, they were a lot of fun and I learned a lot. So, And you know, it was put on by YouTube itself, so they had YouTube representatives there. I don't know. Let me know if you want me to do that and I'll try to talk to other bigger creators about getting one of those organized, but for now I'm focusing 100% on the Hanami. Actually, right now, for now, I'm going to eat my lunch. Uh, <laughs> yeah, thank you for the questions, Tatsuji-san. I'm sorry, I keep mispronouncing your name. It's a tough name to pronounce. <laughs> I appreciate anybody uh, leaving me questions or stuff that you want me to answer on Twitter, at phx 7 Or you can leave stuff in the comment section, I'll answer it. But uh, for now, I'm going to answer to this lunch. Mmm. <laughs> there it is, Phoenicians. Have a good day.